said, you said something interesting. That people go out of the street that demand equality and justice. You said that they're convinced that they will attain it. On the other hand, when we talk about it, we say that we're utopian, we're unrealistic. So the problem is probably by our approach. They think they can achieve it by force, and we say that by connection, mutual responsibility, education, we can achieve it. So where's the matter here, that they're convinced on the one hand? They're convinced because for them it's uh, justice, where on the one hand I'll break all the tycoons, open their safes, take everything, hand it out to everyone, that will be social justice. For them it's simple. That's possible to do, of course. Let's jump the rich and finish them off. That's the kind of social justice they're thinking about. We say no. First of all, we have to understand what is the reason for all that is happening with us here and this whole direction in the world. And it's not simply that they're rich and poor, we're also undergoing a crisis, a financial crisis, social crisis, a multifacet crisis. Multi, well, it's a crisis. Let's understand it. Let's understand what's going on. You say, did Egypt get anything as a result? Did the Russians get anything as a result? Did the kibbutzes get anything? Nowhere. If you go, if you take the ordinary path, you won't succeed. Connection, that is the thing. And if you're talking about just distribution, um, justice, and so on and so forth, there has to first come connection. Let's learn how to do that. Let's learn how to connect. How can you turn to some kind of a, how can you turn to some action which is supposed to be uh, just and uh, where you can, through which you can reach equivalence for everyone and so on among everyone if you don't come from connection between people. Your, your vessel, your means, your tool is unfit for what you want to do. You want to make everyone equal, so create your cle to be that way to begin with. Otherwise, what? You, with your group of a thousand people, want to go and create a social justice of your own. And he has another group with 2,000 people who want a social justice of their own, and they want theirs, and they want this, and those want that, and comes the army, and comes the government, and the, the tycoons, and your enemies, and all those that surround you from uh, all your borders, and each wants uh, justice of their own, and what do you want to do now? How can you do it without balancing all these things, without reaching Darvut, the mutual responsibility where we're all responsible in Arvut toward one another. Only through that Arvut can we discover justice. Impossible any other way. I I'm asking you ordinarily, without Kabbalah, without anything else, as a person off the street, how is it possible? So because you're students and you have time, so you're taking to the streets, and, and, and what are you doing? You're filling the streets and stopping traffic. What are you doing? Simply making a mess because the other part of the nation thinks differently. You're simply spoiled. Who are students? I myself was a student. So what? It's well known all over the world, the students. The, uh, what then? It's uh, this kind of time, it's an age, obviously. This is why, this is how they're treated. I understand single mothers, uh, those that are in pension, on this, on that, but students. And also, each has a demand of his own. Who said that it's social justice? Take all the money, hand it out to those on pension or single mothers, or someone else. Why is that justice? There has to be a general consensus about it. There has to be a general social consensus about it. This is why we say, first of all, talk, mutual consideration, connection. First of all, mutual guarantee or vote. 
These are the words that say that if you're a part of this, then, then from this point you can keep on going till till you come to this point, undoubtedly that many powers and forces will stand against what you want to do and they will trip you.